Hi everyone, welcome back to Omar's Test. Today is Throwback Friday. It's been like three years that I made this too, and the video is just laying there in my phone. I decided to upload it, and this too is giving everything a delicious turkey tomato stew. It's giving. So here are the ingredients I'll be using. I'll just blend the uh, wet one, which is uh, green pepper, garlic, ginger, and onion. I'll just throw them to the pot, and I'll be using some spices for it. You can actually use any spice of your choice i use curry thyme ginger garlic paprika and uh, nutmeg to prepare this of course we'll add salt so i'm going to uh, rinse the spoon stir them completely to combine together cover it and allow it to marinate if you have time and after marinating i'm going to steam it for like five minutes to release its own juices before i go ahead and add some water for it to cook properly The turkey is well cooked and tender, so I'm going to transfer them to the grill. Allow it to grill as good as you want, and this is the stock that I saved. Here are the turkey, they are nicely grilled. I'm just going to turn them to the other side or flip it to the other side, allow it to grill well. Now to the pot, I'll be pouring some vegetable oil and I have my tomato and pepper already prepped. They are fresh tomato and pepper. That is just what I blend. So I'm going to allow the oil to heat and when it is hot, pour in the onions in them, add some spices so that they will release some good taste in this stew and allow this to fry. Pardon me, the camera was off when I poured the tomato. But as you can see, the tomato is already poured in the pot of oil. So what I'm going to do now is to cover this tomato. Please, lower your gas. Yes, and allow this tomato to cook on low heat. Because if you leave it on high flame, ah, I will not tell you what will happen. No? The whole kitchen will be so messed up. So let me ask, how do you like frying your tomato? Do you like frying it when it is freshly blended or you like to cook it down? Let me know in the comment section. Cooking it down is a very nice option because you avoid having all this mess that I'm passing through here. In fact, it took me a lot of effort to continue cleaning and cooking the splashes of the tomato everywhere. But here we go. There is always sacrifice while cooking. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and add the stock to the stew. I add about three spoon of that and that is okay I'm going to cover it and allow it to continue cooking So you don't need more spices in this stew again because I've added paprika curry thyme and nutmeg so the only thing you'll be shaking for now is to make sure that the uh, it doesn't lack anything like salt if you need salt you can go ahead and add so after like 15 minutes this stew have cooked to perfection i'll go ahead and introduce the turkey into the stew All right, after pouring in the turkey to the stew, I will allow it to steam for like five minutes on low heat. Yes, and after that, I'll go ahead and clean every place. That is the stew. I'm using and my stapler right now to make sure that everything is looking good. And here they are. The tomato stew is ready and it was so delicious. Give it a try and I will see you in my next video. Bye.